Hey guys, welcome to the course and I'm really excited to have you on board. You have made a wise choice and I'm glad you took your first step to unlock a new skill. All the best, stay consistent throughout the course and if you have any doubt, feel free to use question answer section and I will be there for you. Now one small thing I really wanted to talk about. Udemy might ask you for review at very early stage, maybe after first few lectures only. Don't forget to leave a review. You can check lectures, curriculum, resources, announcement and lot more. I am always there for you for question answer, for advice, for messages or any other problem. Reviews are really important. They keep me motivated to update this course regularly, send you guys regular announcement about community, keep adding more lectures on new topic and most importantly to reply all the questions as fast as possible. Sometimes in couple of minutes sometimes in less than few hours. Now without wasting any time, let us get started to our first lecture. Stay consistent, whole course is now yours. Thank you for following, see you in the next one. Hey guys welcome back. In this lecture we will be talking about three important questions on Django. The first one is what is Django, the second one is what we can do with Django and the third one is why Django. Django is a free open source web application framework. Now there are two important terms. The first one is free open source and the second one is web application framework. So if I talk about open source, so it is a project which is available to all and anyone can contribute to it. So it can be a framework, it can be a library or it can be a program. So even you can contribute to Django through some financial donation or maybe giving input through codes. The second important term is web application framework. So if I talk about what is framework, framework is something to give structure to a system. So if I say web application framework, so it is going to give a structure, a predefined plan for our web application. If I talk about what a web application needs, so there are several common tasks which a framework control. So your web application might need to control your URLs, maybe handling your database, maybe handling your user authentication, maybe handling forms that is taking input and giving output. So there are several common tasks that we need with web application. And the framework is a structure, a plan that help us to execute these common tasks very easily. That's where Django come into picture. So if we are using any framework, it is much easier to develop anything because we know a structure, we know a plan, how to execute certain thing. And that is why Django has so much importance in the industry. There are several common tasks that Django handles very well. These can be some repetitive tasks or these can be simple tasks. The next important point that I want to talk about before getting on to our three questions is MVC and MVT that is model view controller or I can say model view template for Django. So if I talk about any other framework in this world for PHP, for Java, for JavaScript, all of them follows MVC. Whereas if we are going to talk about Python and Django, they are going to follow MVT that is model view templates. We will be discussing about this in the further lectures. But here I want to pinpoint that there is an architecture which Django follows and we call it as MVT. Now Django is not the only framework for Python universe. We have Flask, we have Web2Py, we have CherryPy, we have Bottle and there are tons of other different framework. But they are low level web development framework. That means they have several other use cases. Some of them are quite useful while creating APIs. Some are quite useful for doing certain tasks. Whereas Django is the only framework which can handle heavy tasks altogether. Now you might have answer for your first two questions. What is Django? Django is a free open source web application framework. And your second question is what we can do with Django? We can actually build backend of a website. That means it is a web framework so we can design backend of our website. Remember our website is divided into three parts frontend, backend and database. Frontend means how the website is going to look. There might be certain animation, color of our website, font and different thing. Backend means all the functionalities and the third one is database. So how you are going to store all the data that you are getting from a user or you are going to display to a user. Everything is stored in our database. If I talk about frontend, HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Basic knowledge of these three can help you a lot to create some static pages without any functionality.
just for the view purpose. Now, if you want to jump on to high-end part, you might go with different JavaScript frameworks like Angular, Vue, React, and lot more. Now, coming back to our back-end part. So, all the functionalities of a website is controlled by back-end. Here is the place Django come into picture. And if you are able to control complete Django, you can control complete backend. And if you talk about database, so we are going to use SQL Lite 3, which is an inbuilt database with Python. So for frontend, we are going to use HTML, CSS, JavaScript with the help of Bootstrap. For backend, we are going to use Django. And for database, we are going to use SQL Lite 3. Don't worry, since we are going to use Django, everything would be quite easy and smooth. To integrate and you don't have to worry at all now coming back to our question number three why Django so I need to divide my screen into two part so here I would be talking about some obvious reason and on the other side I would be talking about some really strong and on to the point reason the most important one is Django is fast the development phase of Django is quite fast and if you want to develop anything from very scratch with the help of Django, you can start seeing your result in the first 30 minutes itself. So Django is really fast for development phase. The second one is fully loaded. So there are several components, there are several libraries that are auto built with Django that makes your development quite smooth. The third one is secure. If I talk about importance of data in this era, it is really, really high. So you need to have a secure application that can keep your website, that can keep your data safe. And that's where Django have an additional edge. So there are regular security updates with every version of Django. The next one is scalable. If I take a perfect example, it is Udemy itself. They are handling more than 14 million users each day. And Udemy itself is built on Django. So you can understand how scalable a web application can be if you are using a backend of Django. And there are several other points that you might read. But the other most important point is Python ecosystem. Since you know Python is growing very fast. Netflix uses Python. Black hole image is developed with the help of Python. So you need to understand the importance of Python ecosystem and community. So these are some obvious reasons why you should use Django. Now the next few reasons I want to talk about are the first one is it follows structure quite strictly. So if you are working with any Django project, it is quite easy for you to understand that project and implement it on your system because the structure is almost similar. The code base will be different, but you can understand the structure within first few minutes. The next is rich ecosystem. Since the popularity is growing, support from community is going big companies big startup are using Django so the ecosystem is growing really well and these startup contribute a lot to open source so you can see a good growth of Django in coming few years and then I want to mention maturity Django is around for 11 years and they have grown really well during these 11 years there are some significant improvement with every new version and now comes my favorite point that is admin panel by default so if you talk about any other framework in this world, you have to build your own admin panel from scratch. Whereas Django deliver a default admin panel which you can use with your application. Even your smallest application is going to have an admin panel by default and you don't have to code for it separately. So this is going to save lot of time and this is one of the most important and my favorite feature. Next few feature I want to talk about is library support. So if you want to work with API, there is Django REST framework. If you want to work with any CMS, there is Wagtail, Mezzanine. If you want to work with some messaging app, there are several other libraries. So this is really cool. You can work with maps, you can work with payment and all have their different libraries. I hope this lecture gave you a lot of information regarding Django. We started with three basic questions. What is Django? What we can do with Django? And why Django? This was a theory lecture and I hope you got lot of information. From the next lecture, let us start our project, see your demo, start working on your app and get your system ready. I hope this lecture was helpful. See you in the next one.